Welcome back to the channel guys where anything can happen including being trampled by a herd of buffaloes. Yeah, I've been gone for weeks and I apologize for that. My excuse is really quite simple. I went away to the Amazon rainforest to have a party with baby nuts and it was the sickest party dude. Anyways, today we'll be reacting to some of the worst designs the internet can offer us. Firstly, we got this wonderful hoodie with black and white stripes. I've heard people say stripes can make you look slim and not shady, but this one will make you look like Jack Skellington. And that's exactly the look I'm going for. A hoodie that will hide the fact that I eat too many chimichangas. Why have one door when you can actually have four of them? This door, I mean, um, <laughs> doors is made for people of different shapes and sizes. Hollywood should be taking notes because this is how you make something inclusive for everyone. I'm sure nothing will happen if you open like um, any one of them. Keeping up with this door conversation, here's another one for tall people. And if you can't dunk in basketball, then this door is not for you. The funny thing is I've heard people say um, when Jesus knocks, you should enter the door. But from the looks of this one, he should get a jetpack. I can say this is the perfect door for anyone who has a problem with stairs. Why have a face mask when you can have a nose mask? Have the sniffles, no problem fam. You can blow your nose within it like you would use a normal tissue. It holds everything inside like a baby's diaper. But <laughs> it's actually not absorbent enough. So I suggest you go and try it out. Yeah, <laughs> I know what you're wondering guys. This is the actual carpet design. Like um, they either Hulk smashed an ostrich to a red pulp or they poured red paint on it and threw it in the white carpet. Either way, this shit is a crime scene. Can someone call Ace Ventura? I'm sure he'd figure this one out. Imagine putting this in your home's living room and inviting your friends for dinner. I'm sure I'd be the one that says, Crikey, are we having an ostrich for dinner, mate? Did you, did you get, did you catch it in the outbacks? Please stop this madness. And yeah, I apologize for this uh, weak ass uh, Australian accent that I'm trying out. I'm, I'm learning, okay? The stairs here have been built properly, but the access ramp though is another story entirely. The one who made it probably doesn't like people in wheelchairs, or perhaps he thought the wheelchair wheels will be able to go up the ramp. Props to the guy for trying something new because the old access ramp design was boring anyways. And actually calling this an access ramp design is incorrect. It should be called a no access ramp design. Like, um, I have one question. How do you carry this bone without spilling soup on the sides? Nobody knows. Ah, yes. <laughs> a public chair that promotes slouching and osteoporosis. Have osteoporosis. Uh, the ad for this chair would be probably like, um, do you want to stretch your back to the point where you can't even walk? Then this chair is for you. <laughs> like doctors have said your spinal cord is actually uh, S-shaped. I don't know where they got that bullshit from because like um, <laughs> from the looks of this chair, it's clearly C-shaped. I'm starting to think doctors don't know nothing about bones, folks. Everyone has been wrong about human evolution in biology. Cause like, there are clearly two sexes in this planet, elephants and giraffes. So it's time for us to get our facts straight, okay? Darwin and Lamarck, move over. There's a new elephant or giraffe in this biz. Hey guys, um, do you actually remember in old DuckTales episodes where B.A. Binoculars was dating Scrooge McDuck? Me neither. But um, this was actually the outcome of that bromance. Who would have thought they made an actual baby duckling? Well, ducks do lay eggs after all, so I guess everything checks out. Uh, yeah, this low-key, uh, low-key cup is designed ingeniously to pierce your eyes while drinking from it, giving you the incredible drinking feeling that lets you experience agonizing pain and the sweet taste of coffee. Um, you can perhaps drink from it avoiding the horns, but you'll risk spilling hot cocoa on your Like, um, it's not rust that you're seeing here, folks. It's how these tiles actually look like. The first time looking at this, I thought it was poop that was covering the wall to give it a um, more toilety aesthetic. I'm sure the interior design... No, no, no. The exterior designer wanted people to feel the exact same way those horror movie characters feel when entering rusty toilets. A feeling of existential dread. Don't ask me what that word means because I 
have no fucking idea staying close to the topic of uh toilet here's a modern glass design of a toilet seat the good thing about this one is that it changes color depending on what you've eaten or how your stomach's feeling for an example if you have exploding diarrhea it will change to brown everyone is speaking about this modern design you should join the conversation too because not everyone can break up about having a glass toilet in their home the NASA or NASA did actually find uh, a parallel universe and this picture proves it. It shows a parallel universe where houses don't have any windows where they should be. And in this parallel earth, people don't stare at the morning sun through their windows. They stare at the solid wall. Imagine being the sucker that rents a place with no windows. Sad really, but um, very very affordable. <laughs> Uh, guys, <laughs> I don't know how to tell you this, but this uh, is actually more common than you think. One of the lecture rooms at the university that I go to had a similar problem. Although not to an extent in which you are unable to open a chair as observed in this picture, they messed that up so bad that some of the students couldn't see the whiteboard. It was pretty much ridiculous, but the best thing was, if you were sitting behind it, you like didn't have to answer any questions the lecturer asked. Um, this is actually pretty genius. Like, um, after taking the forbidden no talk jutsu, you can either go and roll the wet toilet paper to wipe, or take a shower and run the water through your yeah um this one is actually made for people who take small poopies you can just see it folks and um what's funny is that if i photoshop a king's chair on top it actually looks like an actual throne just because the tap isn't close to the basin it doesn't mean it can't work properly if the intention was to spill the water everywhere then the person behind this succeeded what was done here is dumb please never do plumbing again i urge you to try pottery instead this is what i call a living nightmare for anyone that says ocd if you encounter this problem at your home or at a friend's house just destroy the whole thing the whole house would have to go like seriously, hire a bulldozer, it will make the job very very easy. <sighs> Why? Seriously? Why? I have a few questions like, how the fuck did he even put the shelves in? Did he first put the shelves first, then build the wall on top? Why would you even do that? What makes this even weird is that this is a built-in cabinet. So I'm probably right when I say he must have put the wall after it. And most importantly, how do you even open the shelves? This is seriously making my head hurt, so um, th let's just move on. Unless you have incredible steering skills, I suggest to cut the damn tree. Um, well, I kinda understand why they couldn't cut it. And it's not because of the same old, uh, let's save the planets by planting a tree or having a tree uh, in every house. Nah, nah, it's, it's, it's not that. It's because uh, trees are living beings just like in the Lord of the Rings. So it would be like um, cutting a family member. You know, the regular stuff. You have to be pretty stoned to come up with this. What you're seeing right now is an escalator that leads you to nowhere. Instead of riding this escalator standing up, this one will require you to lie down so you can avoid being crushed by the ceiling as it goes up. If you don't want to lie down, you might need uh, Grimm's uh, limbo skills to ride it. Well done to the masterminds behind this escalator. Y'all did a pretty banged up job. Y'all should kick yourselves in the back. Like seriously, kick yourselves in the back. You'll be doing the world uh, a pretty good favor. I'm sure I've pressed too many buttons with these uh, confusing, bad and somewhat faulty designs. But if you haven't left just yet, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you soon. Probably. Maybe. Presumably. Peace.